Hi, thank you so much for joining me for this video today. If this is your first time here, I'm TJ from TJ Tutorials, and I do everything from anti-aging skincare, testing skincare devices, genuine product reviews, and the science behind how everything works. In today's video, I'm going to be using this. This is the Tripolar Stop V radio frequency device. Now I've had a lot of people asking me about this device, if it's worth it, does it work, and whether it's something that they should think about getting themselves. So the only way for me to answer that is to use it myself. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to be using this for the next month, and then at the end of the four weeks, we'll see if there's any real difference. So before we crack on with this video, let's take a quick close up at what the product actually looks like. Now with this device, one thing that I'm actually really happy to see included is the automatic skin temperature detection. Basically, when you're using this device, once your skin is heated up to the optimal temperature, the light turns orange, it beeps a little notification at you to let you know that the skin is at the right temperature there now and you can move on to the next area. Super, super useful because with my other radio frequency machine, I have to use a digital skin thermometer that's really only given me a rough guide of how hot my skin actually is because it's measuring the surface. I also really love the fact that this includes DMA or dynamic muscle activation, which is basically EMS or electronic muscle stimulation. This is a tripolar device and it targets the SMAS layer and all of the other layers in between. And then the DMA, it gets those muscles contracting rapidly, which helps build a little bit of muscular volume and structure. So now let's take a quick look at what the different settings are on this. So the power button is right here and then to turn it on, all you do is you push it quickly and it lights up the first light, which is green with one light lit up. That's low level radio frequency. You push it again and you get the high level radio frequency. Now to activate the DMA with low level radio frequency, push it again and the light will turn blue and then push it again for high level radio frequency and high level DMA. So with this machine, the first thing that you do is you need to cleanse your skin, make sure that it's free from oil, from makeup, from any debris or grime. My skin is all clean and clear, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to apply some of the Tripolar Preparation Gel that I have right here. It's got quite a bit of fragrance going to it. I'm not a fan of fragrance in skincare in the slightest, but we'll see how it works. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide my face into four quadrants. So we have one side of the forehead, the other side of the forehead, the cheeks and around the jawline here on each side. And as I'm well accustomed with radio frequency and EMS, I am going in on the highest levels with the radio frequency and DMA. Oh, oh. oh my God, the DMA is far too strong. See if it's any better on the lower level. Oh, no, let's just stick with the radio frequency. So with this radio frequency machine, the instructions say that you repeat the treatment once every two to three days. So that's roughly three times a week and it takes approximately 20 minutes to do the entire face. Now this has just beeped at me and as you can see the orange light has come up here which means that my skin is now at the optimal temperature there. So we're going to start moving out into larger circles. And each area takes around about five minutes to treat. This definitely doesn't produce as much heat as my other radio frequency machine. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or not. Maybe the other one is too hot. But I'm loving the feeling of this one. Like it gently massages your skin with the four prong tips, which actually feels really nice and I'm sure is great for lymphatic drainage. So I'm not going beyond the orbital rim because there's the optic nerve there. And one thing that I've learned from using my other radio frequency machine is that you don't play around when it comes to your eyes. Now let's do the forehead. So make sure I've got good contact. 
and then it's just rubbing it. Yeah, the prongs aren't as comfortable on the forehead because there's less tissue in this area, so it's quite bony. But it's heated the skin up really, really quickly and it feels nice and warm there, which is the main thing. Now, as you guys who have been following me know, I do have cog threads in my forehead, so it's gonna be really interesting to see if this causes them to break down any faster or whether it impacts them in any way. I wanna try the DMA one more time and see if I can actually get myself to tolerate it, so. Mm. Okay, over this area it's much more pleasant. It's such an English thing to say, it's pleasant. So the lights come on, which means we're at the optimal skin temperature now. I'm going to do my under jaw area and along my neck. So remember when you're treating your neck with anything, always avoid anywhere from the hyoid bone all the way down to where you can feel the top of your, the collarbone area here. In here you've got your thyroid, you've got your voice box. So yeah, anywhere really where you've got hormone production going on, you really don't want to be running anything over it that's going to interfere with that. So I'm going to try to DMA on this one under the chin and see if that helps any. No, nope. I really don't like it. I guess we're just gonna stick with the high level radio frequency here. Okay, so I've done my first treatment and my first thoughts on this, loving the heat detection in the skin, the DMA when it kicks in, really not a fan of that, but we're gonna see anyway how the radio frequency on its own works. Also, I need to go through the ingredients list on the preparation cream. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use this once every two days, and I'm gonna do this religiously for the next 28 days, then we're gonna have a look at the before and after and see whether this actually does what it claims. So I guess I'm gonna see you at the end of the video for the before and after. Okay guys, so it has been exactly 30 days since I started using the Tripolar V and this is what my face is looking like. Anyway guys, let's wrap things up here. If you've got any questions about this device, feel free to drop them in the comments section down below and I will try my hardest to get back to you. If you found this Tripolar Stop V review useful, make sure you give it a like. And of course, if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you get updated every time I upload a new video. So thank you for joining me today and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. So till next time guys, TJ over and out.